Hello! In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get every Wacky Wizard's ingredient. I'll be using a speed potion with 9 giraffe hooves for most of the video. Alright, let's get started. The first ingredient is the Charmeleon. So, just go ahead and walk over to this tree. And click the Charmeleon. Then just teleport to your cauldron and drop it on in. For the bird ingredient, go ahead and run to this big tree. You're going to see a bird sitting at the very top. Go ahead and do the parkour to reach the bird. Go ahead and grab the bird and teleport back to your cauldron and drop him right on in. For the dynamite ingredient, go to the desert. Once inside the desert, look under the bridge, click the dynamite and teleport back to your cauldron and drop it on in. For the chili ingredient, go to the desert again. Once you're in the desert, fall through this little hole in the ground. Go ahead and complete the parkour. I usually take off the speed potion when doing the parkour because I cannot do parkour while running that fast. Teleport back to your cauldron and drop it on in. For the fish ingredient, go on and head over to the lake. Also for Every ingredient, you will need to drop it into your cauldron just to be safe. So, grab the fish ingredient, teleport to your cauldron, and drop it on in. To get the spider potion, you're going to need to craft a shrink potion. So, take three fairies and make a potion. Go ahead and take this to the spider cave. Once we get to the spider cave, you can go ahead and drink your tiny potion. Now we can squeeze through the crack and collect the spider. Teleport back to your cauldron and drop it in. For the tumbleweed ingredient, go ahead back to the desert and wait for the train to spawn. As you can see, there's a train leaving, so I might be able to get on this train in time. Yep, I got on the train in time. So, watch out for bullets being shot at you. I'm not sure if they kill you in one shot, but I do not want to find out. I do know if you fall off the train, you will die and have to restart. So, Alrighty, once you get to the front, place the dynamite. Go ahead and grab that tumbleweed. Teleport back to your cauldron and place it on in. For the ethereum crystal, we're going to need to talk to this golem. So talk to the robot and then we need to find his missing body parts. So just grab them and take them back. You can only take back one body part at a time. Alright, so after giving him his body parts, he says he wants a brain, so grab a brain and take it back to him. 
Perfect. After giving him the brain, the golem has now given us a special gem. So take the gem into this big castle. And let's go through this purple gate and complete the parkour. Once you get here, drop the gem, like the sign says, pick up the Ethereum Crystal, teleport back to your cauldron, and drop it right on in. For the frog ingredient, we'll first need to make a Shrink Ray Potion, so that's one Charmeleon and one Fairy. So be sure to take it, drain your cauldron first, and then stand on top of your cauldron and drink the potion. This will kill you but it's gonna turn you into an ingredient. So now it has my character as an ingredient. So take that potion, and then we're gonna head to the Goblin Village. Once we arrive at the Goblin Village, be sure to talk to the leader first. So once you talk to the leader, the first goblin you want to talk to is the fat one. And we're going to give him the potion we just made. Then talk to each goblin and find what potion they want. So the kid goblin wants noodle stew. Take the pool noodle and put it in the cauldron and make it into a potion. Give it to the little guy. Now let's go to this one right here. So this is the vegan goblin. He wants some beans. So look for a can of beans. Do the same thing. Make it into a potion and give it to him. Last but not least, we need to talk to the short goblin. So he wants to get bigger. So take the giant's ear and hopefully this makes him taller. All right, and now for the last goblin, the goblin leader. He wants spicy stew, so grab the chili, make a hot potion, give it to him. And once we've fed all the goblins, talk to the goblin leader again, and we should get the frog. Just be sure to teleport back to your cauldron and drop it on in, just to be safe. For the Egyptian head, you want to grab the frog and then now we're going to go to the big pyramid over here. So once we get to the pyramid, I would drop our frog and I'm going to reset because I cannot do parkour with speed and we need to get to the end of the parkour. This parkour is pretty easily, thankfully. So once we make it to the end, you're going to see five ingredients, a spider, fish, brain, bird, and frog. So we need to bring all five of these ingredients. So the first one is the frog. Just click the frog. Now we need to go back to our cauldron, get a bird, and do the same thing. So just repeat that process with all five ingredients. Here's the bird. Here's the brain. Here's the fish. And last but not least, the spider. Now collect the Egyptian head and teleport back to your cauldron and be sure to drop it in. For the sunglasses ingredient, we'll need to head over to the pool. Alrighty, once we get to the pool, go ahead and talk to each NPC. So first I'm doing the goblin leader. He wants a smoothie with orange and me. So grab an orange and then head over to the blender, put the orange in and then put yourself into the blender. So once you do that, it's a little bit buggy right now, but I am holding an invisible smoothie. Take it to the goblin leader talk to him and now we go to the next guy so Oz the wizard wants a banana and an orange so let's grab a banana put it in the blender and then grab an orange
We're holding another invisible smoothie. Talk to the wizard. And now on to the last one. She wants a banana and apple. So grab a banana, put it in the blender. Same thing, grab an apple. And we're holding our last invisible smoothie. Talk to her and now we have the glasses. For the star shard ingredient, we'll need to make a rocket fuel potion. So take one dynamite and one chili and make a rocket fuel potion. Then we're gonna head to the rocket and fill it up. So the first thing we'll need to do is talk to Elon Musk. Just talk to him and then go to the back of the potion and add the fuel. So as you can see, we still need to add a little bit more. So just teleport back to your cauldron, grab another potion and take it back. Keep repeating this process until the rocket is filled up. Once the rocket is filled up, go ahead and go inside the rocket and we're going to get launched off to space. Well, I think we're on Mars. So once we get to Mars, complete the parkour and we'll need to get the star shard at the very end. Parkour does have some lasers shooting at you, but honestly, they're really easy to dodge. If you just do the parkour and just completely ignore the lasers, they will not hit you. Just don't stop moving. Be sure to teleport back to your cauldron and drop it on in. For the honey ingredient, head back over to this big tree and right next to the big tree, there's a small little beehive. Take the bee from inside the hive, teleport to your cauldron and drop it in. So I would recommend mixing the bee with a speed potion, otherwise you're going to be flying really slow and it's going to be super annoying. So. Go ahead and head to the beehive and on your way there, you're going to notice some flowers. So touch the flower, you're going to get a yellow effect. Once you get that, go into the beehive and go in the area and go into the matching flower. So I did this one, so I'm going to go inside and it'll turn yellow. You need to do this for five flowers in total. I'm going to go ahead and show you the locations of all five. You need to come back into the beehive after each one, but I'm not going to, so I don't waste y'all's time. So the remaining flowers, there's one on top of the volcano. It's this one. Then there's another one on the cactus. Then there's another one in the lake over here. It's just these pink lily pads. And then the last one is inside of Oz's hideout. So it's a sunflower on his roof. Be sure to go into the beehive after each one. After getting your last flower, you will get the honeycomb right here. Just click it and teleport to your cauldron and drop it inside. For the paintbrush ingredient, go ahead and make a giant's potion with one giant ear. I go I went ahead and made a fly potion to help just use one robux and one bird to be able to fly so we're gonna go ahead and walk over or fly over to the barn drop the giants potion when you get here and talk to Oz 
He's going to give you a seed, plant it in the ground, and then be sure to turn on the water. So once it grows into a little plant, pick up the giant's potion and then give it to the plant. Once this happens, just teleport back to your and make one more giant's potion. Remember, it's one giant's ear. Next, fly up to the golden arch on the cloud or the gold structure. I don't know what it is. Once you get over here, stand on the scale and drink your giant's potion. This should open up the gate and then grab the paintbrush, teleport back to your cauldron and drop it in. To unlock the gun ingredient, all you need to do is get level nine. So you get levels by making potions and yeah, it's really easy to level up. As you can see, it says right here, gun ingredient at level nine. And in the chat, I just got the gun ingredient at level nine. So I can grab the gun and use it. It's that easy. For the mushroom ingredient, you're gonna need to talk to this NPC right over here. And then you'll need to collect eight mushrooms across the map. So, I would recommend using a fly potion. It just makes it a lot easier, but you don't have to. So the first one is behind the pyramid and you can get these in any order. It doesn't matter. After you grab each mushroom, you will need to talk to the NPC. After I turn this mushroom in, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the location of all seven mushrooms. So I don't waste your time, but be sure to turn in each one to him. So the second one is right here, third one is right here, fourth one is near these rocks, fifth one is in the water near the fish ingredient, sixth one is behind the potion cannon, all the way over here. Then you're going to have your seventh one going to be down here with Oz hiding in the corner behind the gravestone and then the last one is right here next to the goblin village once you take your last mushroom to the NPC you should get the mushroom ingredient so let's see boom mushroom ingredient be sure to teleport to your cauldron and drop it on in for the ice cream ingredient Go ahead and grab the bird and then walk over to the ice cream truck. So talk to the ice cream guy. And now we need to go give Pete this ice cream. So Pete is the guy in the middle. Just talk to him. He should take the ice cream. And then we need to go back to our cauldron. So just teleport, grab a pool noodle, and then let's talk to the ice cream guy again. So now we need to go all the way to the desert and speak to Galinda and she is the witch. So now we got to deal with this slow train sadly. Oh, glad that worked. So talk to her, then teleport back to your cauldron and take a paintbrush. This should be the last time we talk to the ice cream guy. All right. Take the snow cone and we're going to give it to Oz. So this should be, oh wait, never mind. We need to talk to the ice cream guy one more time after this. Sorry about that. So talk to Oz and then teleport back to your cauldron or walk to the ice cream machine, whichever's closer. And this should be the last time we talk to him. Boom. We got our ice cream cone. To get the witch's brew, we'll first need to make a hot potion. So that's one chili. And let's go ahead and take that to the desert. And we're going to take that to the witch. So this train's really annoying. Okay, we got around it. Talk to her and give her the hot potion. And after that, teleport back to your cauldron. And now we need a speed potion. So one giraffe hoof. Make a speedy potion and we talk to her again.
give her the speedy potion. And once you do that, she's going to request for three objects. So let's see what objects she requests for. She requests for a cactus cat. So cactus cat is in the desert and it's next to it next to a cactus. It's really easy right here. Cactus cat. Just give her the cactus cat and the next ingredient will be a blue frog. So the blue frog is going to be near the waterfall. So head towards the waterfall, go to this rock right over here and you should see the blue frog. Take this back to the witch. And the next ingredient is a jellyfish. So the jellyfish is usually upstream. She said upstream, which means in the waterfall. So let's go swim up the waterfall and see if we find the jellyfish. All right, so the jellyfish is right here at the top of the waterfall. Take this back to her. But before I do that, I'm going to show y'all two other ingredients she might ask for. If she says ask for a bat, come to the cave and the bat should be right in this area where my mouse is. Right around here. Just look up on the ceiling. And then the last thing she might ask for is a volcano flower or something like that. All you need to do for that one, make a fly potion and go to the top of the volcano and you will see it. So I don't have a fly potion right now, um, but it's on top of the volcano. It's really easy to find. Just fly up to the top and you should see it. Super easy. So once you've collected her last ingredient, just go ahead and give it to her. And just like that. She gives you the witch's brew. For the disco ball ingredient, you'll want to make a fly potion. So I like to use the bird and robux, but there's many different types of fly potions. So I would go ahead and bring, let's go ahead and bring a charmeleon with us. And we're gonna fly up to this little disco area over here. It's a broken disco area though. So what we need to do is we need to repair these broken areas. So we're going to need four things. We use the Charmeleon to repair the floor. So come to the dance floor, repair it. Now teleport back to your cauldron, grab a witch's brew, and we're going to do the same thing. But the witch's brew is going to be used for the fridge. Got to have our cold drinks. All right. Back to the cauldron. Now we need a dynamite. And the dynamite is going to be used for the speakers. You know, we're going to get those speakers boxing, blowing up. All right. Last but not least, we will need a chili. And this is going to be for the smoke machine. It's, guys, I guess it's too spicy. It's making the machine smoke. So. Put it on the smoke machine and with that the disco ball will spawn right here grab it take it to your cauldron and drop it on in for the boxing glove ingredient go ahead and grab one chili and then use it to make a potion so take this hot potion over to this the leaves over here and we're gonna need to burn the leaves down so we're gonna just come up here, click and use potion and the leaves should burn down. Teleport back to your cauldron and now we'll need a giant's potion. So that's one giant's here and then go back to the place we just came from. There is a little bit of parkour so you might want to make a fly potion but I think I'll be fine. Alright that was parkour is pretty easy so Go ahead, drink the potion, 
you need to become a giant to pick up this big heavy key and unlock the door. Next, we'll need to make a U potion. So teleport back to our cauldron and to make a U potion, we'll need one fairy and one charmeleon. All right. And then this will give us a shrink ray potion. Be sure to drain your cauldron and then drink the shrink ray potion while standing on your cauldron. All righty. Now, as you can see, it made me into a potion. So let's go back to the cave. Alrighty, so give the potion to this guy or talk to him. I'm just going to skip over everything he's saying and then boom. A bridge will appear and just talk to this NPC and he should give you the boxing gloves. Boom, just like that, we got the boxing gloves. For the beans ingredient, go ahead and take one dynamite and make an explosive potion. Now head over to these bricks. Then get right up against the bricks and drink it this should explode you and break the bricks next we'll need to make a giant's potion so that's one giant's ear and take that back to the cave go ahead and click the spoon while holding out the potion and the spoon should grow and then last but not least teleport to our cauldron one more time and then last but not least go ahead and make a tiny potion so just go ahead and take one fairy and let's go ahead and go back into the volcano so go across the giant spoon and then now we need to Use our tiny potion and stand on this and it should lift us up. Now we will need to complete the parkour. I personally cannot do parkour running that fast so I reset my character and then grab the beans, teleport back to your cauldron and drop it in. For the coconut ingredient You'll have to wait until the volcano event starts so you can see it's starting in one hour and this event does happen every couple hours i forget if it's every three or four hours so be sure to hit yes on this message and let's wait for it to begin all right guys wait for the flying beans to spawn in and then once they spawn in just sit here and wait it's pretty boring but you can there, you don't really need to do anything. You can shoot them with these guns or you can just wait. It doesn't really matter. It's going to take the same amount of time. So I would just wait at your cauldron until the beans despawn. All right, guys, once KSI spawns in, just treat this like you're fighting um, the Robux boss. So just grab potions, put it in the cauldron and shoot him. It's just like the normal Robux boss fight. Except it is a little bit harder since sometimes you do got to go on these ladders so you don't die. And these waves are really slow. Honestly, I could have put another potion in the cannon, but oh well. I'll just wait till the wave comes by. All right, as you can see, this potion killed the boss really quickly. That was really easy. And just like that, we got the coconut ingredient. All right, then the next ingredient, you want to go ahead and make a fly potion or, or you can go ahead and swim up the waterfall. Both are okay, but you'll need to come to the disco area.
So once over here, just look into this cauldron and grab this acid barrel and teleport back to your cauldron and drop it in. And this should give you the acid barrel ingredient. For the Greek helmet, you want to grab Oz's sunglasses and then come over to these four pillars. So each pillar, you will need to give a different ingredient. So the Oz's glasses goes to the yellow pillar and teleport back to your cauldron. Now grab an ice cream cone. This ice cream cone will go with the red pillar. Now teleport back to your cauldron. Grab a chili and the chili will go with the blue pillar. Alright, then last but not least, we will need a dynamite for the gray pillar. After you destroy this last pillar, you should get the helmet. Just collect it, teleport to your cauldron, and boom, you should have it. For the Robux ingredient, you'll need to wait for the Robux event to start. So it starts once every three hours. So you can tell by looking at the giant event, and you see it has one hour left, and then looking at the volcano event, which has two hours left. So if the other events aren't about to start, then you know the Robux event is about to start. The Robux event is starting, so grab a potion. I personally just made a random potion and then put it in the cannon and shoot it at Mr. Rich. So I just spammed a bunch of TNT and uh, chili peppers and this potion does a lot of damage, so I'm loving it. This is what, my third potion and he's already halfway dead. This is super strong. Alright, fourth potion. And I think it's only going to take five potions. Yep, only five. That is really good. So just spam chili peppers and, chi and dynamite with a bunch of other ingredients. And boom, you get a really good potion. So once you do that, go ahead, collect the Cyclops Eye. Take it to Oz. Once you take it to Oz, talk to him, and boom, you have the Robux ingredient. Be sure to teleport it back to your cauldron and drop it in. For the shield ingredient, wait for the giant event to start. You can check the timer on this big castle. When you get this message, be sure to hit yes, and then let's wait for it. Once the event starts, we need to head over to the castle. So let's head over to the big castle. It says grab a sword right here. Just ignore that. We want to go straight up to the turrets. So once you get up to the turrets, just stay here and wait until the big gingerbread man spawns. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Just be patient. Alrighty, once the gingerbread man spawns, sit on the turret and just start shooting him. The only thing we're worried about is destroying this gingerbread man. So keep firing until his health gets to zero. So there are little gingerbread mans around us attacking us from down below, but as we said, we don't care about them. The gingerbread man does throw some attacks at you, but just ignore it. We heal really quickly and it's not going to affect us. And just like that, we have the shield ingredient. These three ingredients you could only get during the Halloween event, so they are no longer obtainable. If you would like to get a legacy ingredient, aka old ingredients from the purple table, what you need to do is head to the middle and click on these crates. You can get a legacy ingredient for 300 gems. 
that is the only way to get these ingredients, sadly, as they are no longer obtainable any other way.